there will be no ailment in the physical and mental body. Being free of disease may not necessarily be well-being. It's an essential part, but not the whole of it. When you feel well, when you really feel, feel well on all levels of who you are, that's well-being. It's a matter of being in tune with everything within and around you. It's a matter of being full-fledged life. It's a matter of being existentially alive, not psychologically busy. Health is just one of the ingredients for well-being. Health is a necessary ingredient, but it's not everything. But the word health comes from the word whole. That means when you feel complete, when you feel whole, you're healthy. So in that context, health is well-being. But today, the way health is being looked at is only as physical health, only as that you must pass all the tests that the doctor gives you. <laughs> so in that sense, it is not entire well-being, but it is an essential ingredient for well-being. Without physical health, feeling well is uh, odorous, you know. <laughs> As there is a medical physiology, there is a yogic physiology. We see the body as five sheets or five layers. The first is the physical body, which is referred to as the Anamaya Kosha, which literally translate, translates as the food body. The physical body that we carry is just an accumulation of food that we have eaten or a piece of the planet that we have taken. The next layer of the body is known as the manomaya kosha, which literally means the mental body. So in yoga, we do not see mind as in any one specific place. The entire body has intelligence and the entire body, every cell in the body has its own memory. At least we know today, even by the modern medicine and by our experience we know, that our body, every cell in our body remembers even what happened to our forefathers a thousand years ago or a million years ago. So there's enormous memory and intelligence in every cell, so there is a mental body. This is like the hardware and software, but these two things can do nothing by themselves unless you plug it into quality power. So the third layer of the body is referred to as a pranamaya kosha or the energy body. There is enormous knowledge and experiential knowledge about this energy body, which we know, which is referred to as pranamaya kosha. There are seventy to thousand nadis or pathways which have manifested in a certain way. There's full-fledged, in-depth knowledge about these things as to how we can master each one of them and what it will cause in our experience and in our sense of well-being. Essentially, if we are looking at just at health, if once pranamaya kosha or the energy body is properly balanced and vibrant, there will be no ailment in the physical and mental body. There is no possibility of ailment either in the physical or mental body. Aligning the energy body 